welcome to lesson two in the white pick book, guys. Um, so we just tuned our guitar. We're ready to go. We learned um, a couple, couple things about our finger numbers, string numbers, frets, where, where to find them. Where to, let's play the guitar. Let's, let's, let's play some warm-ups here. Let's, so what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit my guitar just so it's comfortable here. I sometimes put it on my left, like that, maybe if that happened, unless I'm doing classical music, that's, that's probably a better uh, way to sit. So it's just sitting here. I do, I do like using a strap. It just sort of keeps my, it keeps it from falling down. You know, I have a bad habit of, of, of getting, doing something else and the guitar will fall over. So I like having a, a, a strap on here. Um, what I'm going to do here is before we play, I'm just going to jump in. Let's, let's, let's go in. And what I'm just going to say right off the bat, just a couple quick tips. Try to use the fingertips of your fingers when you play. You want to curl your fingers. The thumb is behind here. I don't know if you see my thumb there. It kind of helps to, to, to push down. My thumb's not like this. That's, that's something that uh, a lot of beginners like to do is put their thumb like this. Don't do it. <laughs> it's um, thumb behind. Keep fighting the urge if it, if it wants to do that. Remember, nice, I think I mentioned this in the last video, nice and close to the fret. And what we'll do is, as you can see on the chart here, number one, you'll see how one, 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 this is the first little bar here. We haven't talked about bars yet, but you'll see one, 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 one. What does that one mean? It means fret. So I'm going to go to the first fret. Well, this is the first fret, right? This is the second, third, fourth. This is the first fret. And see how it's written on the skinny string, the first string, like we said, right? So, okay, let's go to the first fret on the first string. And I'm going to use my first finger, okay? And because there's four ones, I'm going to play four ones. Ready? One, 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 one. So if you want to stop the video and try that a few times, go for it. See if you can avoid... That sounds pretty normal. If, you, if you're starting out, that used to happen to me. I used to play on a guitar where the strings were way off the, the neck. My, my mom's old guitar when I was a kid, and I, you know, my hands were purple at the end of these exercises. So if, if you find your strings are way too high, that might not be your fault. It might be the guitar's fault. So you might have to get a guitar um, technician to, to, to fix that or to see if it can be fixed, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Maybe practice this a few times, but let's go to the next bar where it says two, 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 two. So now we're going to go to the second fret, right? So here's my second fret. I'm going to use my second finger. Remember, I'm using my fingertips nice and close to the fret. Let's try that. Get my guitar up here a little bit more so you can see my right hand as well. Two, 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 two. I'm going to go to the next bar. Three, 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 three with my third finger. Three, three, three. Three and my fourth finger, four, 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 four. There it is. So what we can do, and we'll wrap this video up here, guys. And what I would do is I would practice that a little bit. I would I would look at those charts and be able to do that. And what I'll do in the next video is I'm going to play all three. Or sorry, there's four exercises here. So we'll do all four of them. And I'm going to put a metronome on. And, I, and if you don't know what a metronome is, it's just uh, a beep or a click, something that will keep in time. It won't speed up, it won't slow down, right? It just keeps a steady time. I don't always use metronomes. I, I mean, I'm guilty of that. I, I, I like to just nod my head and just tap my foot and, 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 and do the best I can to stay s steady. But it, it is a good idea to, to, to practice with a metronome, especially when you're starting out. And, um, so I would practice that first, be able to do I would go for all four. If you look at the, the last one, well, let's just look at the last one really quick. You'll see one, two, three, four. So yeah, you gotta use all four fingers, right? I think the last exercise, we actually climb up. The nickname for this drill is called the spider, and you can, you can see why. It looks like a little spider uh, crawling up your fretboard, right? So good job, guys. We'll see you in the next video, and we'll play through all four with the metronome. Okay, see you then.